second edition of the Dubai International Triathlon attracted more than 800 professional and amateur athletes. The new course in this half iron distance race covered different parts of the city that started at Skydive Dubai through Dubai Marina and finished at the Dubai International Endurance City. Dubai resident Olivier Goddard from Luxembourg took first place with a time of 4 hours, 8 minutes and 39 seconds. Amy Kitchingman was at the finish line to welcome the athletes. International Triathlon where athletes from all over the world have come here to the UAE to test out their strength and endurance in this challenging race. This is the second half iron distance triathlon to be held in the country. Athletes participating in the triathlon will have to swim 1.9 kilometers, cycle 90 kilometers and finish a 21.1 kilometer run all across Dubai. Jessica, who is the organizer of the race. So congratulations on such a successful race. Can you tell me a little bit about today's turnout? Yeah, we've had a great turnout today. Um, we had over 800 competitors racing. We had a lot of teams this year, which was a slightly different dynamic from last year. Um, we were kind of actively helping people join up as teams together. We had a lot of people that, you know, either pure swimmers, pure cyclists, pure runners, getting a group together and, um, and racing, which is brilliant for us and brilliant for the sport as well. So I know that you're on a new course this year. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, we started down at JBR, at the end of JBR, and then uh, the guys cycled out onto the, the purpose-built cycling track, which is great to take advantage of that facility. Um, they rode uh, almost a full loop around the cycle track and then into Dubai International Endurance City. Um, it's unusual, it's kind of logistically unusual because it's split transition, which means that you have one transition down at the swim at JBR and then the second transition up here in Endurance City. Um, so that's a lot of logistics involved in it as well, but it makes it a bit more interesting, a bit more dynamic as well. the race congratulations Thank on winning you. how did you find the course this morning yeah it was actually quite an easy course but as you can see the the exterior circumstances made it much harder than it actually was you know, normally is you know so yeah so which for you was the strongest uh, length the race yeah uh, for me my strength is the bike and to run off the bike solid and fast that's what my strength is yeah What's your general calorie intake then? Uh, on a normal training day, when I'm not in race week, it's about six to seven thousand calories on a daily basis. Yeah, I have to eat that, otherwise I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll break down. <laughs> well, we at Physique TV, we want to encourage people into getting into health and fitness. So, what would you give your top tips for somebody that is wanting to try and get into triathlon? Well, I have a lot of fun doing it. The top tip I can give is to have fun and to do it consistently. Not one week, 10 hours, and the next week only one hour. Every week a little bit, and then you will get there. So joining me now is Till, who is our second place winner of today's competition. So congratulations on your place. How did you find today's race? Uh, it was quite tough uh, in the swim. Uh, uh, I was struggling a bit, big waves, and uh, it felt quite long. I mean, Eric Watson is probably the best swimmer in our sport, and he finished like five minutes slower than he normally swims. So, uh, yeah, that was quite a challenge. On the bike, I had great legs, maybe too great, because I kind of overpaced the first hour, uh, hit the wall a little bit, but uh, yeah, that happens. I won in my last two competitions. This is my first long uh, road bike race, which was quite challenging. Um, first of all, the wind was extremely strong. It was completely against all the riders and it was really slowing us down um, to the point where at some point I felt like the wind was going to that was going to blow me off the bike, literally. So that's how hard it was. Other than that, the support 
uh, was absolutely amazing on the course. So people were providing water, they were cheering us on, um, they were providing food, um, and there were even a few uh, bike shops that were on the road trying to help with the gear and trying to help with the mechanics um, and just checking on us uh, almost halfway there. Dubai International Triathlon. I'm Amy Kitchingman and that's What's Up.